Hello there. Just a few finishing touches. What do you think? Why am I all made up, I hear you ask? Yes, well, Bob is having a party. Ellen, hang on a minute. Yes, Bob? I said you could come with me to the party, but don't you dare show yourself. How am I expected to explain you to my friends? I know. I'm your fairy godmother. No one else in the party will have one of those. Everyone will want one. Keep out of sight. Understand? I haven't been to a party in ages. All that lovely food and drink and the spot of dancing to keep me fit. I'm going to feel really good. Bob's been preparing all day and I've been having a sneaky taste of all the healthy finger bits. <laughs> Someone's been busy. So I'm having a couple of pints. Nothing wrong in that, is there? And how many pints is that exactly then, Bob, so that I can prepare myself? Only a couple. I knew I'd catch you out one day. You eat very healthy foods, not like blood. You don't smoke and never have. Blood used to, till she met me. You exercise a little every day, but you do drink alcohol, yes! Yes, but I make sure that I don't drink every day and I don't get drunk. I might have guessed. Perfection. Well, he's not drinking on an empty stomach. What about his friend? That's right. Oh, go on, eat something. Why is it important to make sure you don't drink too much alcohol anyway? And why should people never drive when they've been drinking alcohol? I know what, this party's getting a bit boring and I don't think much of Bob's taste in music. So, I know, let's follow the alcohol around his body to see what happens and find out where it goes. In we go to the stomach. So far, alcohol is going the same way as every other bit of food and drink. Nothing unusual so far. This is the small intestine, remember? Here, the food is so small that the nutrients, the good things in the food, can pass into the blood vessels through the walls here, and the blood carries the nutrients all around the body. Well, it would seem that it isn't just the nutrients that pass into the blood. Anything small enough can get through the walls of the blood vessels too. So, alcohol gets into the blood. Okay, so what are you waiting for? Bob, go and concentrate on having a party, will you? Ah! Oh, do me a favour, please. Another one? What is it this time? Don't dance for a while, will you? Why ever not? It can get quite rough in here, especially the way you dance. Hmm. By the way, there's more alcohol coming your way. Really? I thought it might help your research. <laughs> so sorry. Well, everyone seems to be having a good time. Well, except maybe for him. Well, to get into the bloodstream, I need to shrink some more. So here we go. 
Yes. Oh, I'll never get used to moving around in here. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Mm. Now, I happen to know from bitter experience, inside blood, that blood doesn't like strange, big, dirty things like me in it. So, it sends out its army of white blood cells that try very hard to eat me up. That's how the body fights germs. Oh, I hope I reach somewhere else soon. Oh, I'm sure Bob's dancing again. But something in my life remains the same color. My favourite room. Remember this? The brain. This is the control room. Bob can make all sorts of decisions about his life and what to do next and how to avoid danger and all sorts of things. Oi, Bob! Bob, turn the music down. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, never mind. I'll do it myself. I am in the brain after all. I have control. OK, then. Legs, move forward to the stereo, please. Hey, where am I going? Right arm, I want you to reach for the button and turn the music down. Yes! Hey, how did you do that? I'm in the control room, aren't I? I can do all sorts of things in here. I knew this was a mistake. Thing is, I came in with the alcohol, so the alcohol must be in here too. The alcohol is carried to the brain by the blood. Mm. Oi! Oi, keep still, will you? You're keeling over. Sorry, I'm just a bit tipsy. Just a bit tipsy? Bob didn't decide for himself to sway then. The alcohol must be taking hold of the controls. What was that? Pardon? Well. See? He can't even control his voice. Don't drink any more, Bob. You have had enough. You're losing control. The more alcohol that comes in, the more drunk you get, the more you lose control. No more. I promise. I don't want to be like him. Look how stupid he is. Yes, who is he? Oh, just a mate. I'd better go and help him. Yeah, go and sort it out, Bob. And home you go. She doesn't look very happy. Hope he's not driving home. Okay. Okay, Krista. Well. No, they're getting a taxi. Oh, dear. Now you can see why anyone who drinks and then drives a car is unbelievably stupid. Think of other things that would make you lose control, that reach your brain and take over the controls, make you do stupid things, and could end up killing you or making you hurt or kill someone else. These things can happen to people who take certain kinds of drugs and sniff glue. They all take over the brain. They can't think straight anymore, can't make decisions, and they do stupid things. Can you think why people do this? Why do people get very drunk? It may make them feel good for a while. Very soon, some people who drink too much, who sniff glue or take drugs, get to feel so ill. And sometimes it's too late for them ever to get any better. Because once they start, they just can't stop. 
It takes them over completely. They become addicts. How are you doing then, Bob? Okay. I've sent Joe home in a taxi and Jane is putting him to bed. Uh, he's going to feel dreadful in the morning. That's true. The brain certainly gets its own back and gives you a headache. Are you having a good time then? Mmm. Oh, yes. You should taste the other drinks. Well, customers, it's my greatest pleasure to show you my incredible bar. We have absolutely amazing drinks without a drop of alcohol. Anywhere near them. To the table, my first one, the Sundance drink. A bit of white grape, some American ginger. Then a wee dram of black currant juice. In it goes. Quite a bit of colour. And some ice. Stand back, shake it all about. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sundance drink. Madam. So what do we want? Drinks! What sort of drinks? Dynamic drinks! Yeah! The party seems to be in full swing now. What do you do to make you feel good? Bob doesn't need any chemicals to take over his brain. Life's too good. All of you, in your pleasure, take that! Michael, Michael, yes, he's got it. Right. While the alcohol doesn't stop in the brain forever, it moves on, in the blood, of course. Let's see where else it goes and what more havoc it creates. Ooh! Uh, alcohol, like all other drugs, is a poison. It isn't meant to be here. The body doesn't like it. So what does it do about it? It gets rid of it as soon as it can. And that's where the liver comes in. Let's see if I can get there. The liver is a fairly big organ and lies sort of over the stomach. The liver does some very important work in the body. Now, it's around here somewhere. Ooh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze in here, I can tell you. This is the liver, and it's like a big recycling plant. The blood that comes into the liver contains some worn-out chemicals. They're no longer useful to the body. They've done their bit. But the body doesn't like to waste things if it can possibly help it. So, what the liver does uh, uh, is turn the useless chemicals into chemicals that the body can use again. Old, useless material is changed into new, useful chemicals. And they are either stored in here until they are needed, or they are sent back around the body by the blood. The poisons that come in, like alcohol and drugs, are thrown out in disgust and carry on in the blood to the kidneys, where they are filtered out, remember? And then, of course, out it goes in the urine. Bob's liver is in very good condition, just like the rest of him. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine what happens when the liver has to deal with poisons day in and day out? How would you feel? People who drink too much alcohol and who take drugs can damage their liver very, very badly. Take a look at this. These livers have been damaged by alcohol over a number of years. They can't work properly like that. If your liver becomes badly damaged, then it can't deal with poisons anymore or recycle old chemicals. What happens? They build up in your body and you become very ill. 
Some people have big problems trying to stop drinking alcohol. They are alcoholics. If people followed Bob's example... Don't drink every day. Don't drink on an empty stomach. And don't get drunk. Mm. Exactly. Then they needn't worry. Their liver will look as perfect as Bob's, and he seems to be having a wonderful time. Oh, I'm really thirsty after all that, though. Oh, where do you fancy sitting? Look, there's a long smoking area up there. We'll get the menu first, I think. Mm -hmm. OK, then, what do we all want to drink? I'll have my favourite. What's that? Sen Rice Special. Don't worry, Dad. I'll tell the lady how to make it later. So who's drinking, then? Who's driving home, Alison? You are. Oh, great, Dad, cos you could try grapefruit fizz. It's brilliant. I'd like a grapefruit fizz, but I'd rather have a beer. Go on, then, I'll drive. I quite fancy a grapefruit fizz. For Sen Rice Special, you mix pineapple juice and orange juice with some soda water. You pour it onto some ice, add a dash of non-alcoholic grenadine, and decorate with pineapple and cherry. Yes, he likes it. Richard, you haven't finished all that cocktail. <laughs> The body is a very clever machine, but you put anything in there that isn't meant to be there and you could be in deep trouble. But how do you decide to live a healthy life? How do you make the right choices and decisions about the way you live? We'll see how Bob sorts himself out next time. Meanwhile, if you don't mind, I have a party I must attend. Hey! Get back in! Oh, I'm really thirsty, Bob. Come on, I've been good. Anyway, I'd like to meet your friends. They seem... Uh, don't you dare. Get back. Oh, no. Not another sausage. It's been a pleasant journey, right from the start through your various bits and get to every part your mouth's so clean i made it my camp it gets a little rough it's often rather damp your kidneys were amazing your stomach's a treat your bladder wasn't funny but your liver was neat exercise makes your muscles so strong your bones are hard i could find nothing wrong i went to see your lungs they're nice and pink i visited your brain i watched you think bob it's been nice to visit you and see 